What's up? Hey, Matt, this is Andrew Howard with NFL PR. I'll be moderating your media availability session today. And um, if you're ready to go, we can we can get started. So yeah. um, good to go. All right. So our first question comes from Hassan Khan. Hassan, you may ask your question. Hey, Matt, how's it going? Good. How are you? Doing great. Uh, so I wanted to ask you in regards to your game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the divisional round. Um, I know that whenever the media asks former players playing the former team, uh, hey, does this have a different sort of feel, sort of energy? Are you going to have a chip on your shoulder? Uh, most of the players say, nah, not even thinking about it. But I really want to know your thoughts and your answer. Like, were you going to that game, especially that game winning field goal thinking, hey, this is a shot not only to advance to the NFC Championship, but get revenge on my former team? Um, I mean, I'd be lying if there's not a little extra incentive. I mean, a little extra, like, motivation for, for that situation. I don't think it was anything like revenge or anything like that. But, I mean, there's a little bit, a little bit, a little bit more on your mind that game um, going into it. But, I mean, I feel like the first year, my first game actually with the Rams last year, um, was back in Tampa against the Bucks again. Um, and we ended up winning that game um, as well. Was able to hit a couple of field goals and we won that game. So I kind of feel like that was – maybe that was more of that moment where it was kind of like, okay. And then I, after that, it kind of settled into more just another game. But, I mean, yeah, there's a little bit extra motivation for those games. Thanks, man. Good luck. Thank you. Next question comes from Jordan Rodriguez. Jordan, you may ask your question. Matt, what's up? How you doing? Doing well, man. Um, how's this week feeling for you so far? Uh, feeling really good. Yeah. Feeling uh, like another week, you know, <laughs> at home. So it's good staying, staying here. So it's been, it's been nice. Wanted to ask you about um, sort of the, um, the turnaround that special teams has made in terms of consistency and then even assertiveness over the last uh, second part of this season. First, what Joe Camillus has done, how his coaching style lines up with what you guys do. Um, and second, you, sort of your overall thoughts on on how that group has come together. Jody is a guy who is extremely passionate about what he's doing. And so I think when you got a guy in the room who's leading that room, who's passionate about it. Um, first year here. So I think some guys had to, you know, buy into what he was doing and, and, and buy into him. Uh, but he's been passionate since the get and. I think, you know, it hit a, it hit a point in the middle of the season where guys started buying into it and understand that, hey, this this can be a difference in the games. Um, and he's just been passionate. He'd get guys fired up, uh, fired up to go play. And I think it was that Jacksonville game when we got Brandon Powell back there returning. Um, when you got a guy like him who's done what he's done, you know, bring some juice. Uh, guys want to play. Guys want to block a little longer. Guys want to try a little harder because they believe in the guy that's, that's returning the ball that he can, you know, make a difference in the game. So I think that was a big turning point for, for our special teams as well. Thanks, Matt. Good luck. Thank you. The next question comes from Alec Lace. Alec, you may ask your question. Hey, Matt, what's doing? Congratulations on being in the Super Bowl here. My podcast is First Class Fatherhood. Uh, cool. I wanted to ask you, how, how important is your faith in raising your two sons, and are you going to be trying for the girl? Uh, it's everything. Yeah, it's what we center our lives around, you know, our, our whole lives. And what we do is centered on, you know, Jesus Christ and our faith. And, I mean, that comes into play when something is so central part of your life. That comes into play with everything you do. It's how you, you know, choose jobs. It's how you – you know, handle situations. So be, being, especially raising kids, that's how you want to raise them. You want to raise them with, with certain principles and values. If um, lucky enough to share that same faith with my wife and, you know, we have similar views on it. And so that helps a lot. And uh, 
yeah, I definitely want a girl at some point in time. Uh, whenever that comes, it'll be good. Uh, my wife might want it next, but we'll see. Right on with that. You're a first class father all the way. Good luck on Sunday. Thank you. I appreciate that. Next question comes from Charlie Goldsmith. Charlie, you may ask your question. Hey, uh, what, what are your thoughts on Evan McPherson? And is it a win for the kicker community to see to see a kicker like Evan get so much attention and recognition this postseason? Definitely. I mean, Evan is a uh, – I mean, he's done nothing but prove himself as, you know, one of the best kickers in this league. I mean, he's a stud. He's had a great rookie year, um, especially in this playoffs. He's been, he's been unbelievable. So I can't give him enough credit for what he's done. I mean, he's – Hitting the hit the ball really well right now, and his confidence is is through the roof. And so, just props to him. And yeah, it's awesome for um, any specialist, any kicker, you know, for the brand to, to get some uh, recognition on what he's doing, and you know, just bring a little light to the importance of you know what we do. So, can't say enough about him. He he's been awesome. He's a stud, and yeah, he, he he's really good. As a reminder to media, if you would like to ask a question, please utilize the raise hand function at the bottom of your screen. Uh, and our next question comes from Lucas. Lucas, you may ask your question. Hey, Matt, congratulations on making it to the Super Bowl. Thank you. Um, how many times, if any, have you visualized yourself kicking a championship winning field goal? Um, don't know if I have. Having, uh, you know, going back, I started kicking my junior year in college. And so I've uh, been in those games, been able to make make kicks in those games. Um, but, yeah, I don't think I've, you know, done it a million times in my head. So I've been there, done that. You know, I've seen it. It's, it's happened. So it's it's there. Thank you. Good luck on Sunday. Thank you. Again, media, if you would like to ask a question, please utilize the raise hand function. Next question. Uh, oh. Rick, would you ask, would you like to ask a question? Yes. Can you hear me, Matt? Yep. Hey, Matt, congratulations on your success. Uh, you know, you were drafted in Tampa Bay um, and everybody saw the talent. I'm sure they regret letting go of a, of a Pro Bowl kicker, but uh, what did you go through your rookie season? How were you able to, uh, what do you think happened and how were you able to overcome, you know, what you learned uh, your first year? Yeah. Rookie year was, you know, had a lot of, a lot of good, a lot of bad, uh, just ups and downs, kind of learning and figuring out how to be a pro on and off the field. I think being able to, I had some stuff going on. I mean, off the field, the birth of my child was first year, first game, like weekend of that rookie my rookie year and so just being able to handle the off the off the field stuff being able to compartmentalize some things um uh understanding you know just again how to be a pro's pro and all the stuff was that was good and bad i you know it, it led me to be where i am right now so great for all the ups and downs that i went through um was able to um learn a lot out of that rookie year and you know was able to come back and change some things physically as well. Change some things, you know, with my body, change some things with my technique that I was able to clean some things up and get um, a little cleaner. I mean, again, like I, I've been, you know, somewhat new to this. And so, you know, just trying to learn what's best for me, best swing for me. And it's different for everybody. So being able to, you know, figure that way out as I've gone through it. Happy for your success. Thanks. Thanks, Rick. Appreciate it. Next question comes from Christian. Christian, you may ask your question. Hey, Matt, WRHQ in New York here. Um, uh -huh. Just want to ask, uh, what are you expecting this this uh, Sunday? And um, just how, what's your emotions going into the game? Uh, expecting a great atmosphere, great environment. Uh, I'm expecting to, you know, show up and just go through my routine that I've been doing every game this year. Uh, for us, it's um, just no different. You know, you come in and you just want to treat it, you know, with the same routine that you've been doing all year. And, you know, things have gone well and continue that same process. 
I think it's going to be, it's obviously, you know, credit to the, the Bengals. They're a good team. They're, they're here in the Super Bowl. And so it's going to, I think it's going to be a good game. Uh, it's going to be a battle, uh, just like every single game has been. And be able to go out there and, you know, stay in the moment, be able to, you know, lock in, not get ahead of myself, make sure I'm, I'm present and where my feet are planted. And then I can, you know, just enjoy the moment and just take what kicks come as they come. Uh, PATs, field goals, to make sure, you know, you're just focused on the one kick at a time and what's next, the next kick. Thanks, Matt. Thanks. Good luck. Appreciate it. Next question comes from Lucas. Lucas, you may ask your question. Hey again, Matt. Really appreciate you taking this time. Um, many of your teammates have mentioned Robert Wood and his impact off the field. What has he meant to you? Robert Woods is, you know, from the minute I got here, you realize that he's such an important piece to this team, this organization. Um, not only for what he brings on the field as a great player, um, able to do do a lot of things in the in the the run game, the screen game, and um, but he's just I can't say enough about who who he is as a person and how he's handled the situation he's he's been in. Unfortunate to get him hurt, but him being able to be in the building, stay connected with guys, um, have the relationship with the guys that you know, as as you said, a lot of guys on the team want to do this for for him, and it means a lot um, to him and for us to do this for him. And so he he's a a very important piece to this and being able to just see him around the building and just see how like, you know, positive he is with everybody else and how supportive he is of this whole team and every single person individually. Um, can't say enough about the guy. And like you said, uh, we want to do this for, for a lot of reasons, but Robert Woods is a big reason, a big um, reason why we're here in this game. Thank you very much. Thank you. Next question comes from Julian. Julian, you may ask your question. Hey, Matt, congrats on making the Super Bowl. Um, my question is going to be, um, how do you keep your composure in such big kicks, especially you're going to have huge kicks during the Super Bowl as well. So how do you say keep yourself cool under pressure? It's something you have. Um, it's something you, you know, you you get better at as you've been in there, you know, been in situations more. And I think that it's something that, you know, you have as a, I think you'd ask any kicker that's in this league that, you know, if they want that moment and you have to want it uh, to be a kicker in this league. And I think it's something you have to want. You have to, you know, look forward to. Um, and then just being able to, like I said, stay consistent with your process, just not get too ahead of yourself or focused on certain things, being able to be consistent with your routine, be consistent with, um, you know, your process, your steps, everything like that, that, that comes in and the, the result will take care of itself. Um, if you can, you can do those things in, in those high moments, being able to settle yourself and be able to keep composure and just being able to, you know, not get ahead of yourself, not look ahead of the next kick or thinking too much back on the last kick is just kind of staying present on that one kick at a time and being able to, you know, stay consistent with the process, your steps, everything like that. Thanks, Matt. Good luck. Thank you. Next question comes from Joe Ellis. Joe, you may ask your question. Hey, Matt, congratulations. So. You know, before the big game, is there any special preparation that you have? And are you glad that you guys are playing at a dome when you're looking to kick it for a big moment? Or you don't care where you're kicking? Again, I think that's something you kind of, as a kicker in this league, have to, I mean, there's there's benefits to, to, to both. I mean, I think there's obviously great benefits to being in a dome, not dealing with some of the elements that um, you get in other places for sure. But like wanting that big moment, you have to embrace – that moment, you got to embrace the conditions where you kick. You got to embrace, you know, going to kick in Green Bay and going to kick in the domes. You just have to embrace those moments and, and no extra preparation for this week. Yeah, it's been something you've been doing all year, um, something that you, you know, are consistent with your process, your routine. And that's something you don't want to change going into this game. Uh, you just want to stay consistent and true to yourself, consistent to your process again, and, and the results will take care of itself. Thank you so much, Matt. Best of luck. Thanks. As a reminder to media, um, if you'd like to ask a question, please utilize, utilize that raise hand function at the bottom of your screen. Um, currently, right now, Matt, we don't have any. Uh, actually, here we go. Um, Rachel, you may ask your question. Hi, Matt. I'm Rachel from NFL Canada. We were just wondering um, what your favorite Drake song on your playlist is. 
Uh, favorite Drake song? Probably Drake features. I think Drake's in it. It's uh, with Meek Mill, Rico. Um, that's probably uh, one of my, you know, favorite songs that I listen to by Drake. Uh, can't go wrong with any Drake, really, but that's one I've been listening to as of late. Um, kind of gets me just, you know, hyped up in the, yeah, get ready for the moment. All right, Matt, um, we're going to wait for um, still a little bit of time to see if we get any more hands raised. And uh, here we go. Um, next question comes from Fred. Fred, you may ask your question. Yeah, hi, Matt. Fred, Fred Altieri from the Culver City Observer. Can you discuss your relationship with Johnny Hacker? And if kickers get together and discuss strategy or techniques with each other and try to help each other out. Second of all, can you... Uh, Talk about uh, what was it like to become a, a stabilizing influence on the uh, on the kicking team. And um, as far as the game goes, when you first um, on that and that last game, how much pride do you take on on your kickoff team and that special team when you're able to put the opposition deep in their territory and then you allow the defense to create a turnover? Uh, yeah, I mean. Uh... First question, uh, going back to that, Johnny Hecker. Um, great relationship with uh, Johnny. He might not say the same, but uh, great relationship with Johnny. Uh, we have a great time at work. Uh, someone, you know, you just really consider him, you know, one of my best friends. Uh, we have a great relationship. We get along really well. I enjoy coming to work. We have a lot of fun. Um, someone I respect a lot, look up to. Um, and when it's time to work and when time to lock in and go, um, He's an ultimate competitor. He raises my game. He makes me compete. He makes me, you know, want to get better every single day. But again, him and and Matt Orzek, snapper, um, we we get along really great. We have a great time at work. Um, looking back, I think what was the, the the following question on that? That had to do with the kickoff team, and you're able to. How much work do you guys put into? For instance, when you kick off, do you always intend to kick it deep, and then sometimes you guys have kicked it short towards the corners. I guess that was your intent, and you're able to say in the last game, I believe, stop the 49ers deep, and the defense took over after that. So how yeah, much I mean, work that's, do you put into it? I mean, a lot of work. This is our job. This is our craft. That's what we, you know, we perfect it's different teams, offer different looks, and different things you want to do as strategy. So, yeah, you might be, you know, planning on, you know, some kicks you go deep. Obviously, you can't hit every single ball perfectly. You'd like to. Um, you'd like to do exactly what you want to do with it. But, you know, sometimes there's there's things that, get, that don't go your way. And, you know, I uh, have a great cover team. Those guys are rolling. Those guys are, uh, you know, violent. They want to get down there. They want to make tackles, pin the offense uh, inside the 20. Um, and so I can't say enough about those guys. You know, a lot of the success is because those guys are, are willing to, to buy in and willing to roll down the field and, you know, throw their bodies in there and make a tackle. And so that's a huge key to our, our success, especially with our defense, being able to pin those guys back deep and throw our defense out there. I think it's a big advantage for this team. Yeah. And then lastly, um, you, you had a really successful season, but towards the end, you had a couple of hiccups. And I was wondering if it had to do at that those specific point in times, did it have to do with technique? Did it have to do with execution? And when you look back on those particular kicks, what did you draw from that? And how can you really adjust that to that? Like I said, you want to hit every single ball perfectly. Uh, sometimes you don't. And sometimes you got to live with it. Uh, again, you got to stay in the moment and be able to move on kick from kick. Obviously, look back and analyze, hey, maybe this, this went wrong with this. Um, but again, you got to draw on the confidence for what you've done. Uh, I've had a, been able to have a really good year. Uh, make a lot of kicks. And so I, I draw more on that confidence and the, that success of seeing the ball go through the uprights more than I do the other ones. Uh, I move on, be able to be resilient, you know, come back in and be able to hit the next kick. So that's, that's where my focus is on that. I don't look back at those and, you know, think of, yeah. or, or, you know, lull in those moments or anything like that. I look back. It, it's just about moving forward and, you know, drawing on the confidence that I have in my ability and what I've proven to do. And one last fun question I met, I'm I assuming as a kicker, you're a golfer. And are you going to be attending the Genesis Open this coming week? Uh, a big golfer. Uh, I probably will not be attending. Uh, just with everything probably going on, get back a family. Um, you know, just focus on, on, on getting this, you know, this game 
uh, again, a good result out of this game. And, and, you know, we'll handle that next week as it comes with everything that goes on. Uh, but I do love golf, love playing. We'll play this off season for sure, but probably won't be that Genesis open. Okay. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thanks. Next question comes from Stu Jackson. Stu, you may ask your question. How's it going, Matt? What up, Stu? I wanted to ask you about, um, you know, your journey to this point. I mean, you kind of asked a similar question, you know, when you were named to your first Pro Bowl. But, you know, when you think about, you know, how your NFL career began and then everything that transpired before, you know, getting to the Rams to now, you know, being in the Super Bowl, what is, what is this moment meant to you? What does it mean to you? I mean, it, it means everything. Seeing the whole journey through, you know, going back to even college, you know, and, and how I can't even got started kicking. I mean, just seeing that, again, I'm a man of faith. And just seeing that, looking back and being able to see that, you know, God's hand was really in my whole, you know, the whole process of getting me to where I am. And sometimes, you know, I was fortunate enough to have the Buccaneers draft me. And sometimes, you know, there's, there's good fits and there's, you know, there's not. And I obviously – didn't have the greatest of rookie years. And I learned a lot, like I said, and went through ups and downs and made some changes, thought I could come back and, you know, be a, a better addition and better part of that team. Um, but then you are able to, you know, go through some hardships, learn a lot about yourself, learn a lot about, you know, who you are and be able to move on from those and land in a great place where, you know, it, LA might be a better fit for me. And I was able to, you know, have s s some success here. Um, these guys, my teammates, coaches, uh, they give me a lot of confidence. And, you know, I was able to draw upon that and, you know, get that confidence myself and be able to go out there and and have a have a good year and be able to, you know, just looking back, I, I just, again, it's to me, it's just God had his hand in every part of the way, um, led me to this moment, led me to, to be where I am. And I can't thank him. Can't thank my family enough for the support and, you know, kind of coming along the ride with it. It's something they, not a lot of people talk about is, you know, with this job is, you know, the family gets dragged through, through it as well. And so wife, kids, everyone's been uh, awesome. Family's been nothing but supportive to, to get me to this point. Thank you. Next question comes from Gary Klein. Gary, you may ask your question. Hey, times. Uh, I know we, we talked about this a couple of times during the, during the season about the perfect scenarios and those last minute kicks and whatnot. Uh, and, and you had, a, you had the opportunity and, and you know, came through uh, big in that uh, in the divisional round game, what going into the Super Bowl? I mean, is this, is this the dream, you know, that you as a kid and all other kickers dream about having a moment, uh, an opportunity to maybe kick a, a game winner in the Super Bowl? Yeah, I think in uh, any athlete, right? If you, in, in sports, it's it's the dream, the child. Uh, you're counting down the shot clock as you you shoot a three, or you hit that game winning kick, or those are the moments that you you envision yourself and you mess around with as a kid, and you picture yourself in those moments. So yeah, it's something that you know you want and you look forward to, and you know just grateful enough to to be in this game and be able to have those opportunities. Um, and again, you draw upon you know the successes and the confidence you have in the past. So I draw upon those those kicks that have gone through and be able to use that going forward and the confidence that that, that, that gives me. And uh, again, just try to stay in the moment, not get too ahead of myself, not get too ahead of, you know, situations of the game, stay where my feet are planted and, you know, take the game and the kicks that come and just try to take them one kick at a time. And if it comes down to that, I mean, you know, same process and you just go through it. Thanks very much. Thanks Gary. Next question comes from Tyler Ingram. Tyler, you may ask your question. Hey, Matt. Tyler Ingram with Sideline Sports. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. Um, how much confidence do you have kicking in SoFi? And are there certain spots on the field you prefer? Uh, I have a lot of confidence kicking in SoFi. I mean, we, we played there a lot of games this year and last year. And, you know, it, it's being able to kick at home. Uh, but those uprights are the same, same width everywhere you go. And so you'd be able to adjust to the day and be able to, you know, see that ball going through the uprights. Um, SoFi is a great place to kick. It, it's unreal. Uh, it isn't fully enclosed. So sometimes, that, you know, that wind can, you know, come through the open canopy sides and, uh, 
but it's, it's nothing that, you know, I prefer one way or the other or anything like that. It's, it's a fantastic place to kick. Love kicking there. I'm um, excited to kick there to the Sunday. Thanks, Matt. Good luck on Sunday. Thank you. Next question comes from someone with the outlet arena Four. you may ask your question. Hey Matt, thanks, uh, thanks for having some time for us. Um, so the last time the Rams were playing in the Super Bowl, some of the reporters wanted to give the MVP trophy to Johnny Hacker as he had a huge game. Um, do you think Sunday could be about uh, kicking duel between you and Evan, seeing everything that transpired throughout the playoffs? I mean, yeah, you look at the the playoffs. Kickers have had a, a you know a pretty big role in a lot of those games. I mean, um, Evan's had you know three game winners this playoffs uh Robbie Gould I mean it, it's been a, a big big decider I mean special teams have been a big decider in some of these games and so I mean you know if that trend follows yeah it, it could go that way but there's a lot of great players on both sides of the ball both teams that are you know going to show up in the biggest moments um so uh my money would probably be betting on you know one of those guys uh getting the MVP on that on that but uh some big name players playing in this game cheers good luck on Sunday thank you Next question comes from McKenna. McKenna, you may ask your question. Hey, Matt. McKenna Keel, Pac-12 Network. Congratulations on all of us at the conference. Thank you. Look forward to you out there, hopefully back in the pack. Back With the pack. that, I was, I was wondering if you could take a moment to reflect back on your time at Utah and how that has prepared you for this moment now and, and what you hope to represent on the field on Sunday. Yeah, looking back at the time of Utah, I was a uh, – you know, it was a great time in my life. It's, it's where this kicking journey really got started. It's kind of why, I mean, I was my first 17 was kind of my first re- really first time kicking. Um, didn't know much about what I was doing. It was just kind of like no thought to it. It was just see ball, hit ball, and, you know, put it through the uprights. And I think when I look back at that, I think sometimes kicking can get complicated with coaching, all these things when reality just best is, you know, see ball, hit ball or let your, let your body react, let it knows what to do. And so that's, I, I always draw back kind of back to when I started kicking and just drawing on some of that, you know, that natural ability, your body knows what to do and be able to just be an athlete and go react. Um, you know, I can't say enough about, you know, the program and, you know, they, they did really good things and preparing you guys for moments, putting you through, you know, college is, is a, is a grind and, you know, puts you in some tough spots and you got to be mentally tough. And I think, all those aspects uh, being mentally tough is something that you're never going to wish you weren't. It's something that's going to be a great part of your life in, in any aspect, football, family, life, friends, anything like that. Um, so that's something that I think my time in Utah, you know, helped me become more mentally tough. And uh, I'm grateful for that. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate it. Thanks. Next question comes from Rocco. Rocco, you may ask your question. Hi, Matt. Uh, Rocco Law, WRH in New York. How are, you t- how are you today? Good. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Uh, you know, being a kicker, you know, in the Super Bowl, you know, as an LA Ram, you know, what, what do you think is some key things, especially being a kicker? You know, you're not a player that's, you know, rushing up and down the field like a defensive man, like, you know, Aaron Donald, like your teammates, Aaron Donald, Von Miller. Uh, you know, they're always in the action every other, you know, every other four downs. What do you think is key for yourself to, you know, focus up and uh, really, you know, stay, uh, you know, focused for when you do have to go in and just get primed because, you know, you can't just go in and kick the ball and, you know, expect magical things to happen. There's got to be some, some things that uh, you keep to yourself in mind. Yeah, I think uh, kind of some of the similar stuff I said is just being able to have your process that you've had all year being able to keep that same process, being able to be in the moment, be where your feet are planted and not looking too ahead. Like you said, it's kicking is a singular, you know, moment in the game where, you know, it's, you may get six opportunities, you may get one and being able to, you know, stay consistently, you know, focused, locked in, kind of even keel throughout that whole game to be able to be ready for every single opportunity. Cause you never know when that opportunity is going to come. It's not like I'm getting, 70 90 snaps a game where you know it's quickly on to the next one and you and you can move on it's you know making sure you take advantage of every single rep that you get every single kick that you get and being able to you know again stay in the moment one kick at a time you know trust your process trust yourself 
and be able to, you know, go out there and build off that confidence that you've had all year, build off everything you've done and be able to, you know, kind of let loose and just go out there and, and let your body react and um, kick the ball through the posts. Gotcha. And uh, I actually saw um, you know, head coach uh, Sean McVay earlier and, uh, you know, he had something wrong with his voice. Has, uh, has his practices been uh, pretty intense? Has he been, uh, has he been on you guys these past, these past few, past few days? Has it been intense? <laughs> I can't say. I, I, I don't know. Uh, you know, we uh, went about our normal schedule. Uh, surprising enough, not around Sean tons as a kicker. Uh, he's got, you know, bigger things to do with the, the other guys. But, uh, yeah, his voice is a little hoarse today. I'm sure he's been uh, amped up being a Super Bowl. So, it's been good. Great. Thanks, Matt. Good luck on Sunday. I appreciate it. Thank you. Our final question will come from Cool McCain. Cool. Cool. You may ask your question. Uh, actually, it's not not allowing me. Cool. Yes, I'm cool. <laughs> not allowing me to, to allow him to talk. So, um, well, I mean that that's that's coming up on time. So, okay. uh, that 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 concludes today. I appreciate your time. And thank uh, you guys. Appreciate good it. Luck.